Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is simply ohming out a condenser fan motor. All right. So the contactors kicked in, and this is still not running. All right. You can verify your contactors kicked in visually. Um, you can see that this right here is is in. Okay. You hear the humming noise, and maybe your compressor turns on, but your fan motor does not. All right. So this is located on the top of the outdoor unit. All right and for whatever reason it's not turning on. Okay, The very first thing that you're going to do after turning the power off uh, is going to be isolate the capacitor. All right, This particular one is a 35 plus 5 UF capacitor. All right, So the higher number is actually for the compressor and the lower number will be for the fan motor. You can verify the UF or MFD microfarad reading. They're both the same. They both mean the same thing right on the side of the condenser fan motor, all right, which you can actually see through the top looking down at this. Right now we have this upside down, um, but you know you can look straight down at it if you're at the job and you can kind of see which, uh, which size you need. All right, so say this needed a 5, you have to put a 5 MFD in. If it needs a 7.5, you have to put that correct one. If you put a 5 in and one that needs a 7.5, then that's going to potentially overheat. All right, uh, that motor actually, if you if you put one in that's 2.5 MFD higher or lower, that motor will end up overheating. All right, and eventually you're going to take the resistance reading after the power's off. You know, you'll take a resistance reading and you'll see OL or you know over limit or 0.0, .0 ohms of resistance because that motor's now burned out. The windings have have burnt. Okay, so it's specifically designed to have the the correct MFD rating on there. Okay. So you see from common to herm, uh, that is for the uh, compressor, all right, the refrigerant compressor. From C to fan, all right, that is for the fan, and that will be always be uh, your lowest uh, MFD rating okay. out of the two. All right, if you see these in your outdoor condenser, all right, that's specifically for your compressor, all right. Um, we're talking about residential, late commercial, just smaller stuff, all right. Uh, this is actually a hard start relay uh, and start capacitor. This actually kicks out the start uh, capacitor after about half a second for the compressor. So that does not have to do with your condenser fan motor. All right. In the case of this condenser fan motor, it just has three wires. Okay. You can simply ohm this out. You can read the resistance of this in order to tell if this motor is still good. All right. So. Even if you don't know which of these three wires go where into that motor, all right, if you take a resistance reading on them, we'll be able to tell if this motor is good. All right, so I'm just going to show you how to do that. The power has to be off. You, I, you know, you want to make sure that you verify that the power is off. It's locked off, okay? So uh, we have a resistance reading of 56 ohms of resistance between the blue and orange wires. Now we're going to read the resistance between the orange and the black wire. And we have 30.7. So we're just going to call that 31. Okay. All right. All right. So we got 31 and 25 equals 56 ohms. So if you notice the first pair that we read is the was the highest resistance, all right? And the other two pairs actually equaled the higher one, all right? That is how all of these PSC single speed blower motors or compressors work, okay? So even if you didn't know which one which wire went to what part in in the motor, you can tell because the two pairs equal the higher uh, resistance reading. Okay, so the 25 and the 31 equals the 56. All right, and that's how you do it. All right, hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.